Morning, friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing fantastic. But I did want to talk to you. Y'all know those diet secrets, especially that slim cut dude that comes on and says there's this one secret ingredient that will guarantee weight loss and does something with the fat protein and blah, 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 blah. You want to know what all his uh, secret uh, spices are? Here you go. For free. Not a problem. Turmeric. Ginger. Garlic powder. Uh, cumin seeds. Um, cayenne. Pepper. Perfect. Great stuff. Uh, oh, there's one more. I'm trying to think of it. Did I say cumin already? Cumin. A lot of your Indonesian spices. A lot of your spices that you cook with that are readily, easily, cheaply available. Okay? So those are some of those things that people try to hold as a secret you can go straight to your grocery store pick those up i'll try to leave a list in the description to make it easier for you to go through them um i have to buy my black cumin seeds on amazon just because well i'm an amazon prime member but i can't find them locally and my local grocery store can't get them but that's some of those seasonings um two uh real quick i want to talk about diet i'm getting a lot of questions about what what to do for diet or where do I start and if you watched a few of my videos I keep it really simple on people one stay away from these diet plans you got to pay for okay if you got to pay for it it's probably uh, got some marketing stuff with it and it may not be a hundred percent long-lasting because if they can keep you coming back you're a repeat customer uh, look at Weight Watchers done that been there their average weight loss is very, very little, especially when you look at it over a year of time. If you look at diets over a year of time, they don't work that long. Keto diet, again, as soon as you step off, boom, that weight comes on. Been there, done that. Atkins diet, yep, got that under the belt too. Got a lot of them. So um, diet plan, real simple, guys. Keep your ingredients to seven or less of things you can understand. Now, some breads have more in them because you know you start getting into healthy breads it has different seeds and things like that on these ingredients lists the next thing to seven or less if possible is to where a seven eight year old can understand them okay pretty simple two or three i don't know what we're at anyways fiber fiber is a huge huge part that most of us are missing and i'm going to break down the diet to you here real quick or kind of my thought is we have three areas that need to be satisfied one's our taste buds we all love taste i love taste that's fantastic two is our stomach our stomach is a vessel that likes to have a certain amount of weight in it plain and simple now these aren't exact scientific terms or anything like that but just to try to give you a visual picture. Three is our digestive system. Our small, large intestine, colon, things like that. It has to be satisfied as well. This is where almost every single diet plan ignores. This is where when most people talk to me, what do I need to do about my diet? My first thing is, how much fiber are you eating in a day? I had somebody message me, they're only getting like six to nine grams of fiber a day. That's it. And they are on a diet plan that they paid for. And they're like, I can't lose any more weight. No, your stomach's starving or your digestive system's starving. You're not feeding the good little microbes that are in there. Your body's gonna store fat. Our bodies are extremely efficient at storing fat. This is our riches. See, a lot of people wanna blame fat people as your metabolism's off, your this is off. You know what, my metabolism, stores fat like no other. I am prepared for a rainy day. I am prepared for a famine. I am prepared for a crisis because I am fat. That's how my body works. It stores fat. And when you're eating foods that have no nutritional value and just have high fat content, you are triggering your body to say, hey, this isn't really worth getting much out of, but let's store it because we have it here in abundance. Does that make sense? When you eat a McDonald's hamburger, it's designed to where it turns into this goo. 
Try it. Google it. Look it up. It gets nasty. It turns into this goo. So your taste buds say, wow, that was hugely satisfying. That was great. Packed full of flavor. Your stomach starts getting this little bit of mass like, hey, I can feel that. And then it disappears pretty much. It turns into this bleh of no nutritional value. Your body's like, crap, I'm starving. Uh, we just had this. It, it was really great for my taste buds and I felt it. I have to have more of that because my taste buds thought it was this big. Okay, we're focusing here on your three levels. So when I talk about fiber, I'm not talking about let's go grab the Mucinex or Mucinol, whatever that is. I can't talk. It's all right. Follow along. Hopefully you can get what I'm saying. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about fiber and beans, fiber and fresh fruit and vegetables. So when somebody says, hey, my diet plan's not working, what do I do? How much fiber are you eating? And let's add that. Let's get you to 40, 50 plus grams of fiber a day. I know the USDA requirements or whatever say for women 20 some, for men 30. I know what they say. I get that. Let's step above that though. I don't think they have your best interests in mind. I want to have your best interest in mind. Okay? So if you can get your fiber to 40, 50 grams, and I'm not saying change anything else on your diet, you just get those first. And if you get those first and you do that for two weeks to a month, let's say a month, let's make a commitment out of it. You do that for a month of I'm going to get 50 grams of fiber a day for a month. You tell me how much other food you want to eat. Because all of a sudden, after two weeks, your taste buds are going to change a little bit. They're going to start making sense of what is going on in your digestive system. What's going on in your intestines of, hey, when we get this, this is giving us what we need to survive. That's going to make that connection then between that piece of kale, that cabbage, those radishes, that broccoli, all do things to make me survive. Your taste buds will actually start to change a little because they know that is your primary good source of food. Then all of a sudden, your taste buds are now satiated. They're satisfied. Your stomach is now satisfied and your intestines are now satisfied. So now you have those three levels of your diet being satisfied and taken care of. My choices are different than others. Oh, that other thing is vinegar. Vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I have some with, try with every meal and a little before bed, not a whole lot. This here, my morning little mix. This, one of those super top secret guaranteed to help you lose weight. It will help you lose weight. It will help your appetite. It will help your energy and all kinds of stuff. Is with apple cider vinegar, put a little ginger in there. I put a little uh, cinnamon in there. If I start splurging into superfoods, I'll put a little spirulina in there. I'll throw a little chia seeds in there. You make that little concoction, that right there. Water, uh, a tablespoon or two of vinegar, okay, two things. A dash of ginger, go by taste, don't overpower it. You can add more later, you'll change. A Little bit of cinnamon, shake the crap out of it. Put some chia seeds in there. If you let them soak, they'll get a little larger. They absorb eight times their water weight. A Little bit of filler, good with fiber, good with other things. And spirulina, kind of expensive, hard to source, good quality spirulina. A little bit of spirulina in there, shake it up, you're good to go. Spirulina doesn't have to be there. You're going to be focused on fiber, so you're going to be looking at other good quality greens throughout the day to be working with. Another secret hint, microgreens, sprouts. Check them out. They're not that expensive, and they're super easy to make at home. I'll be doing a video on those as well. So... I'm excited to share some of this stuff with you guys, but I really want your input. Please, tell me what you think down below. Give me your comments. Ask questions, plenty of them. I'm here to help. I really am. I've been through this a lot. I've lost hundreds of pounds at a time on different diets and focusing on it, and I've failed multiple times, and I've gained it all back, or almost all of it. I'm starting from scratch, and I made a promise to myself that if I ever did have to start back at this level, I would video this the whole way through and share it with people to help you 
understand that failure happens to help you along the way because I'm going to go through it with you. So hit the subscribe, tag on, ask your questions, leave your feedback, leave your comments. I'd greatly appreciate them. We're in this together as long as you want to tag along. You have yourself a wonderful day. And that's all I can say is just have a wonderful day. Thanks, friends.